I just pulled up to my Airbnb and I also just filed my 2023 tax returns. So this will be my first full year of doing Airbnb. I'm gonna go over all the numbers with you, break it all down, and answer the question, is Airbnb still worth it these days? So I bought this property in 2020 in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, put about 100K into it, spent two years renovating it. So this definitely wasn't your typical turnkey ready property. And then of course, all your furniture, your bedding, all the management down, how you're gonna manage the property and all that good stuff for your Airbnb business. Let's go over the numbers. So I'll give you the gross amount, so the top line amount. At the end of the video, I'll minus the expenses and we'll see exactly how much I made on this property. So we have to start with January. January, I made $3,009. February was a much better month with $9,912. Here in Scottsdale, February and March are gonna be your biggest months because you have the PGA Tour. I believe the Barrett Jackson's in March. You also have spring training. And 2023 was particularly really good because you had the Super Bowl in 2023 here in Phoenix. March, we made $7,905. That's that spring training money that I'm talking about. April, we made $4,406. And I should note to you, these months are calculated by the payout date so sometimes somebody will book for three weeks and we'll get the payout on one month but the majority of that reservation will be on another month for that nine thousand dollar month that could have been like eight or seven thousand and that three thousand january month it could all bleed together i don't have to explain it to you but although it's not 100 percent accurate month to month you can get a general idea of the seasonality may was two thousand three hundred and eighty two dollars the summers here are pretty brutal so that's going to be your slow time so we're just getting into that slow time with May with $2,382. June was a little bit better at $2,939. July was $3,397. Now, I should point out to you, I don't exclusively use Airbnb. I also use VRBO. Um, VRBO is a nightmare to deal with. Their customer service is awful. Their platform is horrible. Majority of my bookings are Airbnb, like 80% and 20% are VRBO. August was $3,807. September was $4,652. We're cooling down just a little bit here in Scottsdale. October was a little bit better, $4,852. And you guys are probably wondering if I set my own prices or how that all works. Well, I use what's called dynamic pricing, which is, um, you could think of a, about it like airline tickets. Yeah, I don't even know the prices half the time. They go up and down based on supply and demand. And the program that I use is Price Labs. I would highly recommend that you guys use it. Not necessarily Price Labs, but dynamic pricing. November was $3,552. Okay, for the final month of 2023, December, I made $4,110. All that added up should be a little under $55,000. To me, that sounds pretty dang good, but now we have to go over how much my my expenses were so once I minus the expenses we'll find out the actual profit so the biz biggest expense it's gonna be your mortgage payment but you can't really look at your mortgage payment as one big expense there's the interest and the principal I'm not gonna count the principal because every uh, month that my principal is going down my net worth is going up so I can't really write that off as an expense so I'll write off the interest so that's gonna be the biz biggest expense at six thousand nine hundred and eighty six dollars next will be repairs at twenty six hundred and forty dollars oh and I'm sorry Sorry, utilities. Utilities is a bigger expense than repairs last year. That was 4,000, I got my little cheat sheet here, $4,195 was all my utilities. Wi-Fi, your water, your garbage, your electric. So really quick, I'm just gonna run through all the expenses here so I don't bore you guys. Taxes, $1,187. Insurance, $1,605, so that's not bad for the year. I've done most of the cleanings after every checkout just because I'm so obsessed with getting five stars. If you're getting five stars each and every time, it's gonna boost you in the algorithm of Airbnb and you're gonna get so many more bookings. But I did hire out some of the cleanings and was $2,150. I also supply my guests with snacks, sometimes wine, drinks in the fridge, shampoo, lotion, all that good stuff, $3,895. And that does include stuff like toilet paper, paper towels, coffee, all that stuff. So that puts all of my expenses at $22,386, meaning I've made $32,266. But not all of that is cash flow because of what I talked about with the principal. So let's 
let's subtract the principal that I paid in the mortgage. So my whole mortgage is right around $1,500 a month, which is almost like 20 grand a year. But if you remember, I only subtracted the interest. The principal on top of that is $8,374. So if I subtract that from the $32,266, you're left with $23,892 of cash flow. So right around $2,000 a month is what this property is producing in positive cash flow. So to answer the question, is Airbnb worth it in 2024 going forward? Absolutely. freaking lootly If you guys live in a city where there's not that many restrictions on short-term rentals and you guys have a rental property and you're like, should I short-term or long-term run it? Definitely go with the short-term if you have the time, if you're willing to put in the work and treat it like a legitimate business, you guys can make 30, 40, 50% more money than you would on a long-term rental. Now, if you guys don't want the headaches of having a short-term rental and you just want to, you know, get that passive income and not even think about it, go long-term. But if you guys want that extra cheddar and it's worth it to you, worth your time, go with the short-term rentals, okay? It's a great way to just get out of the rat race. Us small people that grew up with not a whole lot, it's a great way to get ahead. I hope you guys liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I have an Airbnb in Mesa. I kind of have a cool setup where I live there and I, I closed off a section of the house. I live in a 450 square foot section and then I Airbnb the rest. So I'm going to do a cost breakdown of that property as well. But give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.